Hello and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survivor 1.8. My name is Spange. Welcome to Nighttime. It is a traditional Spange episode. We are starting in the darkness today. Um, anyway, welcome back. Today I want to focus on trying to get the CV in. I think we pretty much sort of nailed the story stuff, although it's still a little confusing and I don't really know what I'm doing. But then, you know, there we go. Um, we can activate the mission log here, and I don't know what this is going to do. Uh, oh, we can look at all the logs. Look, and there's page two. All the logs. We're up to 13 and 16, I think. I presume that's what these logs are. Uh, 13 to 16 logs found. Cool. So we've already got a few left to do, and we've still got to go to Masperon and Ningwes and explore those two. And I think we have to go there anyway, because... Close archive. Um... It, it, you know, Ningwez has got the Cobalt and Masperon has got the Titanium that we need in order to complete our CV. We are pretty close though. We are pretty close. Copper is like 100. Um, Cobalt is about 500 as is Titanium. Those are the two biggies that we really need. And Carbon Substrate, we can get that from here because we've got carbon deposits um, around here somewhere. So um, there's a Promethean down there. There's a Carbon there. And there's a Carbon up there. So we can quickly go and get those Carbons. That should sort us out for the carbon substrate. I mean, the other thing is as well, um, well, that actually we don't have that much. I was like, oh, we're going to have loads in the constructor. No, we have none in the constructor. We have 40. This is rubbish. Um, so I've also lined up a bunch of stuff onto my toolbar here that I, I think we just don't need. Uh, well, I say don't need. The uh, the food processor here is probably going to be quite useful. I'm going to tie that one also to the constructor as well so we can just turn them both off at the same time. Um, but let's just have a quick look because in the fridge we could probably make ourselves some decent stuff pizzas and dino stew reals and medicines look at the meds that we can make holy crap so I've been sitting on all this stuff for a while now um, not using it so food I mean obviously we've been kind of living on uh, the the energy bars in in my in my backpack there so i'm gonna make some more dino stew royales i'm also gonna ask it to make as many health packs as it can um and then med wise we've pretty much got most of the meds but we don't have any first aid kits and we've got i think only one decon kit so let's give it a couple of those as well and see we'll come back later and see what it can do but yeah food processor in there let's top up the oxygen um, now as for everything else on my toolbar here now I decided in the last episode we're not going to have a short range SV warp drive we are going to put that in and that's going to contribute towards the, the CV warp drive <laughs> I wonder how many people were freaking out as I was putting that in there what are you doing? <laughs> we got these multi tools as well they don't contribute a lot as you can see it's barely moving though, but we are getting a little bit of copper out of them and to be honest the only other thing that we do with those multi tools is try and sell them eventually I've also got these pulse lasers and plasma cannons and missile launchers and la 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 la. And I'm not sure what to do with them. I think I do want to put the rocket launchers on the nightshade. And I think I want to put the pulse lasers on there as well. But I don't think we've got the CPU. So I think the one plasma cannon, I think we're going to recycle that. That's going to go in the factory. Uh, and there we go. We're, we're even closer now to our total. So uh, let's go out. Let's go get some carbon from the carbon deposits. That's bright. Where's the freaking... There we go. Where the spotlight was on the nightshade. It was just being rubbish. I've never dug one of these out before. This is a brand new to 1.8 resource. This carbon stuff. Like I said before, usually in order to make carbon substrate, you'd have to combine plant, uh, combine plant fiber and uh, stone. But it's like black, like oil. Well, it makes sense, I suppose. Look at that, we're just getting straight up carbon substrate. It's not even like a a, a pre-resource resource that we have to refine. It's straight up just a substrate. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. And this is a really small deposit as well. So actually, the whip, whip that up right straight away. Look how quick our hand drill is. What is the point of building a hover vessel? I tell you, it'd take longer to dig the hover vessel in here and move it around to get that. That was 360 carbon substrate boom okay definitely get the next one and we should be done that's north from here wasn't it there it is okay let me get that one as well that should complete carbon off and then we'll top up the ammunition on this thing and then let's go to Ningwes 
kind of helps to have the Gatling gun unlocked in order to build 15 mil ammo in the first place. <laughs> there we go. I'm also going to try and get um, a little bit of an upgrade here for the nightshade before we go as well. Shield. Um, the C T2 extender. And uh, this guy here. Mobile CB constructor. Let's see if we can get all three of those things. So, ah, uh, damn. Two flux coils. I've only got one flux coil. Flux coils are... I think they require some special stuff, don't they? Titanium rods. Okay, well, looks like we're not going to have... What I was hoping was we could have a... Um, we, we could have a... Constructor in the SV on our way. And uh, we could then refine the titanium or whatever. While... We've, we basically explore. It would have saved us a bit of time, but there we go. Uh, we'll have to just make do without. That's fine. Let's go. We're off to the frozen wastelands that is Ningwez. Here we are. Welcome, ladies and gents. Ningwez. We've come over right over a tower and a bunch of ruins by the look of it. Which is strange. That's now a Kua and this planet that have these ruins and towers on it. Very odd. Okay, so we're on the hunt for some cobalt, and, um, and then we're on the hunt for any kind of POIs that sort of stand out. Remember, on, on Skillen, uh, we run into the abandoned workshop and the abandoned vessel yard, both of which had um, things in them. Tablets. Or consoles, at least, I think. Let's see if we can find the same thing, or similar thing up here. Was that cobalt? Yeah, there we go. That's what we're after. Bingo. Now this is going to be a tricky one because it's bloody cold here. It's a cold old planet. I should have, in theory, remembered uh, to bring with me some carbon substrate and I could build myself a portable heater. But uh, we'll see how we get on. If, uh, if, if, if it all goes horribly wrong, I just stand on this thruster here. <laughs> I've warmed myself up a little bit, but uh, let's go. Very small cobalt deposit, so we should be done with this very quickly. And there it is. This sort of greeny browny stuff. Uh, is the browny bluey stuff? Yep. Oh, cheeky reload. Right, we'll grab this and then we'll move on. Well, here's something that sticks out more than anything Theta Labs. Looks like it's got a couple of guns on it. Good job I did top up the ammunition. Theta Labs, alright. Okay, other than the doors being somewhat confused. Turn back, bio laboratory. Special suit over only. Nothing here. Wait, there's a hole. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh shit, that's um that hasn't got a ladder on it. <laughs> uh it's fine, I can get back up. It's fine. <laughs> Where's the concern? Where's the concern? Okay. This is a bloody maze. Uh -huh. Hello. Right. I hear slimy things. This is fine. <laughs> this is not a problem. We shall persevere. Okay. Uh, so that's just like observations. Okay. Oh, an arachnid. Get down. Interesting corridor setup. Shift F, by the way, guys. Shift F. I'm wondering what I'm using to instant loot these things. Pathos 2. Gooey stuff. Ew!
Oh, hello, fella. <laughs> I thought I heard something. Flip it to switch and something spawns. Look at that. Promethean ore and stuff. All right, there's a loot crate here. Grab that. That's lovely. Very nice. Uh, you lot can go in there as well. And we'll put the meat in the fridge. Always put your meat in the fridge. Right, here we go. Uh, that's just a gun. And that's a detox kit. Take it. Fine. All right, what else we got around here then? There was definitely another room over here with a flip it a flip on the wall. And flip it. I was so expecting something to spawn. There's a tier 2 multi tool. There's another minigun. <laughs> I just seem to be collecting miniguns. Um, and some basic weapons cobalt, night vision goggles, fuel. Okay, lovely. I'll take it. Very nice. Okay, so Pathos 2, or a door, or a long corridor. Those are our choices. Um. <laughs> or, actually, there's another one. Okay, Pathos 2 is just another room. Dodgy spawning going on here. I guess this is the name of the lab. Oh, it says Theta Labs. The outside. This door. Can't get in there. This door is locked. Yeah, I'm assuming I can't damage it. No. Doesn't appear to be any way in that room. Well, there appears to be anything in there anyway. Oh, maybe like bodies. <laughs> okay. Let's go then. To this little room here. Oh wait, oh, that's like an elevator shaft. That's kind of cool. I like that. Good detail. And then there's this room here. Again, it's like one I can't get into. Well, there was a door. I can get in here, that, but there's nothing in here. Like a little break room or something. Okay, flip it up. Wow! <laughs> Any CMD use. Okay. Bella. I don't think this uh, POI was intended to be taken with a tier 2 pulse rifle. <laughs> I think it may be uh, slightly OP for it, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a door here. Double flipper, Absolute madness. Okay, an empty room. Fine. And this one is... Got a slime coming in. Bit of oxygen. Nothing else in here. Where is that slime then? I hear him. There he is. You had him. Okay. We've got a flipper on this side, we've got a flipper on the other side. And I suspect they're both linked to the same flipper. Alright. Yeah, they do look. And we got. Some fridge stuff. Okay. Let's offload. Meet in the fridge, guys. Meet in the fridge. Right. Last one then. Is this? There's a there's a shutter door there. There's also a bit of damage here. I'm like hidden loot crates. <laughs> I know what you like. Flip it up. Oh, wonderful. Who just spawns raptors? <laughs> Come on. No, no. Yeah. There you go, fella. Good good job. So melodramatic in the death rows, it's here. Does that not open that? It doesn't seem to do anything. Not good, is it? Flippida. Okay, well, that didn't flip it to that. I wonder if there's another flip it to that I need to flip it to. How many times can I say flip it Uh, okay. Ah, I can get in here now. Ah! Right, okay. Well, doesn't appear to be anything in here, though. That's the problem. I missed something. Switch on the f floor. Oh, that's so random. <laughs> what? Okay, do you think that's the open the shutters? 
the one way to find out. Why would that is so just that is completely illogical, I'm sorry. So the the switch next to the shutter door doesn't open the shutter door. Okay, what does that do? Open something over here. Oh! Sharing a room with you is not the best, you gotta be honest. Is that open? What the hell? What is that? Yeah, that just opens that. Uh, what? So an ice golem can sit on my face? That it, and that's it, and that 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 can't be it. What? What the actual <laughs> is going on? I didn't even know. Maybe the elevator's open now, I think. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that! Oh, frickin' bad time to reload, bad time to reload. This is so confusing. <laughs> right, okay, well, I think we managed to get through it, guys, so... Hopefully it save you a little bit of pain when you run this thing. Alright, here we go then. Down into the... the Dank dungeon of doom. I really hope we get PDA out of this, because oh, I love the little monorail thing. Yo, ice golem, I'm behind you, shooting you in the back. Hello. Just I may as well not even attack these guys because they're just so freaking useless. <laughs> I love this little monorail thing, they're so cool. It's like Black Mesa. No, I can't open that though. Is there anything in there? I can't really tell. I don't think there is. Alright, so we've got corridor. Oh! Bang! Look at the loot in here. Boom! Alright. Um, Sathium, Neo, a flamethrower. Lovely. All those, all the stuffs. Uh, that's now full. So, last ammo controller. More cobalt. More cobalt. Weapons, more C4, and a core. Um, of course, do we really want to blow the core now? Do we really want to do that? I mean, it is just literally that dude there, I think, and then and then that's this entire place, isn't it? So no PDA. It doesn't look like it. Kind of cool little dungeon. Hang on. And it's all steel blocks, unfortunately. I was like, oh, maybe it's hardened steel and we get some titanium out of it. Nope. Nope. Regular old steel. Alright, fine. Let's get the core then. I brought a core with me, so... Not that there's a huge amount of, like, salvageables here. In all honesty. Um, sure, maybe we might find something better. But, I mean, so far, not really. This is the best that we found, but... I may as well use the core out of the nightshade. Where is it? There it is. Hey, yeah. Uh, volume capacity exceeded, huh? Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. My base now. What you gonna do? What you gonna do about it, huh? Right, so you're full. You're full. And you're full. No, you're not full. Right, okay. Then I can grab stuff out of you. At least I can get some of the juicy bits, right? Yep. Running out of room now. Oh, hello. Secret loot container. But we're now out of room completely. Uh, okay, so we need to clear some space up. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll put all the blocks, the stuff that weighs a lot and takes up a lot of volume. We'll put it on there. And then we just chuck all that stuff in here. It'll absorb into the factory. Next stop, Maspron. Again, I'm really kind of disappointed we didn't get a Freaking um, PDA out of this. I thought I was onto something then. Never mind. Let's go. And another font of knowledge. I'm trying to do something. Because <laughs> I've already got one. It's probably not working. But I do wonder if um, this Havoc Rescue module that's right next to this font of knowledge. May have a little PDA in it. Possibly. 
It is right next to one of the key artifacts. Um. Ah, boom. Yas. <laughs> Uh, the moon's drone controls have failed more frequently in the last two days. It's only a matter of time before they stop working altogether. Then we won't even be safe in the camps. The Clogham have fortified the buildings in the past days so we can commence with our work. But that may no longer matter. Rumour has it that the Xerax have lost two battle fleets in the last two weeks. Zani fears the silence will soon overrun this galaxy. Not a pretty outlook. I hope we can find a way to help stop this disaster. 14 of 16, we've got to find two more tablets. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, was there a... On Akua, the font of knowledge there, there was uh, a little camp next to it, wasn't there? The, and, we, and we got the, the tablet from there. Okay, so I think the last tablet might actually be on the space station. We did sort of have a real quick look on the space station, but remember, um, we were freezing to death, so... <laughs> probably bad. We, we scarpered from there fairly quickly. Uh, there is one more thing of interest up around here, and it there it is, Mineral Synth Lab. We're going to go and check that one out, because that's the only other one on this planet that seems to be different from the others, you know? Let's take a look. Here it is. What a big, big bugger, isn't it? I think I've seen this before. Yeah. Last time I played vanilla, this thing was here. So I don't expect to get a, uh, a, a tablet from this one either, actually. Because I think these are, are kind of like the abandons on Skillen. They are just for loot and stuff. And that presents a problem in itself because my box is pretty much full right now. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to loot much out of this thing. Still, we're here. We should give it a good go. Whee! Good time to reload. There we go. Good time to have uh, some low gravity. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm just expecting to get shot by sentry guns right now. Everything seems to be okay. Okie dokie. Um, got a couple of boxes. Goes back out. Let's grab the bits and bobs that we can. Might just have to use my suit inventory, I suppose. There's a flipper. And a hole in the wall. More bits and bobs. I think we go back now. Uh, I've got a bit of radiation on me, actually. I will remember to use the shower. Look at that. <laughs> this is going to make me freeze to death, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, right, okay, we have to go to the other side. And flip it over here as well. There we go. That I think opens the shutter doors there. Perhaps. Hmm. Okay. Seem to do anything. Did I miss something? door in the corner here, look. It seems different from last time. Get some bobs. There's another little way down. There's a loot box. Grab that. Lovely. More bits and bobs. Blast my way through there, I suppose. I suppose. I'm guessing that these just drop down into that section that I was in before. Yeah. And there's um generators in here and stuff. Isn't the core down here though? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's the core. I found it. I don't have my own core on me this time. Is that even hitting it? There's like of this half block hitbox thing going on. Can I actually hit the core from here, can I? What? Oh no. Um, right, how am I going to do this? I've got some C4. I could maybe try and deploy that um, through the hitbox, maybe. Maybe it is an indestructible core, I don't know. I don't think so. That should. No, I'm cold, I'm cold, I'm cold. No. 
and do nothing. That's a bit odd. The hitbox on this destroyed block is just preventing me from destroying the core. Hey, I got it. <laughs> a little slippity slippity. Right. Okay, uh, I need to go back and warm up. I'm going to get hypothermia. I've got hypothermia. And uh, now I'm going to die. Oh, hello, fella. How you doing? Let's get this last little loot crate here. There's a bit of titanium there. Lovely. Okay. What does that do? Doesn't really matter now, does it? <laughs> Whatever I want the base to do, I can make it do. Leaning reveal those last two loot crates, but let's go and quickly warm up because I'm in trouble here. I'm in trouble. out. Cold. Yeah. <laughs> stunned. I'm stunned by how cold I am. Okay, warm up. Warm up, fella. Warm up. Right. Um. Okay, yeah, I should be able to... What's <laughs> the problem with existing on a, a cold planet? Everything that can go wrong goes wrong. I need to eat one of my ration packs, unfortunately. I suppose I could have actually eaten those, couldn't I? Dumbass. Never mind. Should chow down on them anyway. Okay, so the last two loot crates then. This guy's got a bunch of copper. And this guy's got a bunch of copper too. And cobalt. And that's it, I think. Um, pull up every box I can. There we go. Even the fridge is, is getting involved. <laughs> Okay, so that means there should be... There's a few bits and bobs through here, I think. This goes down. Uh, interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the way through. <laughs> yeah. Very fancy. Uh, night vision goggles. Um... Looks like there's some meds. And um, a fridge. With some ham. This side is now done. And then I think we go up the elevator here. Now, oh, if I remember correctly, there's a bunch of grow plots here. Yep, look at that. A growing pentaxid. Something you can't actually do in the vanilla game. <laughs> right. I have to disconnect here because uh out of space, out of heat again. Grab this pentaxid. That is gonna be coming useful later on. Right, bit of beef, bit of bits and bobs. Bit of landing ramp, okay. Oh, I'm gonna freeze to death again. I don't think there's anything here. Lies. There is stuff here. I'm going to have to carry it myself. We're going to have to head back to base now. Grab the bits for that at least. There's a Wi-Fi. A bit of oxygen as well. Well, that's a lot of oxygen. That's going to fill me up. Probably won't be able to carry the rest of this. Nope. That's the fridge full. That's me full. <laughs> that's me freezing to death. Ah, there's one more floor. Hang on, there's one more floor. There's a there's a thing. There's a thing. There's a freaking tablet. I'm gonna freeze to death while reading this. We just got a message from the administration. Something is happening. Apparently, an experimental weapon has been used against the silence without any real success. He only has learned from internal reports that a silence ship was captured a few days ago and is now being investigated. A few hours ago, we also learned that the silence was on its way here. I wonder if they have something to do with the progenitor network. I hope we did not lure them our way. I wonder if that's what the Xerax think. Could be a reason why the Krogum are looking at me so disparagingly. I think the silence might have got attracted by the constant energy bursts of the obelisks. Yeah, 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 you think, yeah. Okay, Di I know, I know, I'm dying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I really need an EVA boost, dudes. <laughs> I have just, like, one rare loot container that has freaking gold bars in it, please. That would be lovely. Let's get out of here. That's awesome. 15 of 16 tablets. And I'm pretty sure we're going to find 16 of 16 either on Maspron now or on that space station. Anyway, uh, freezing aside, freezing complete, let's get out of here. I think we're done 
uh, with Ninguez for now. We need to head back to base, refine uh, the, the cobalt that we've picked up, and, uh, and then head over to Maspron for the last tablet and for that titanium. I do just love drifting through space. This is just as on, on idle, just like from the cockpit view as well. You can do it from the external view, which looks fine. But there's something quite immersive about doing it from the cockpit view and just like watching the asteroids float past. <laughs> I don't know. It's so slightly eerily quiet as well. Welcome to Masbaron. Okay, we're going to do the same routine here. I've been around the moon already and scouted everything out. Uh, so we've got a couple of titanium deposits here, just the two. There's also two pentaxid deposits here as well. And the font of knowledge, which we're going to go to in a minute. And there's an abandoned drone base here that's going to be good looted. Alright, so. Woohee! <laughs> that was a cool trick. <laughs> uh, so first of all, just as before, we're going to pick up the titanium deposits. And uh, hopefully not get ganked by something in the meantime. Nope, you're going to get ganked. Okay, fine. We can deal with you, though. Sunshine. Legacy. Oh, crap. Reload! Yeah, legacy infected. Um, so perhaps the silence has caught up to us already. What is that? That is like iron rock to me. Yep. Uh, so let's get this titanium pronto. Get the hell out of here. Because uh, it is not friendly around here. I think titanium is this kind of yellowy, silvery stuff. Yep, here we go. Yeah, it's only a small deposit, so it shouldn't take long. Alright, so titanium mined. Here's the font of knowledge. I'm going to go stand in it again. See if it does anything this time. <laughs> generated. <laughs> Tries to generate the key again. Sorry, I'm just trying to break the game at this point. <laughs> but there is also um, a shack right next to this, so hopefully 16 of 16 is in here. Let's have a quick look around. I see a cabinet. I see a tablet. I see a thing. Yes, please. This is possibly the last entry for a while. Things have come to a head. I had to make a tough decision. Before the energy outbursts had calmed down in the past few hours. In instead, you could suddenly feel a kind of static charge when you entered the obelisks. We just were in the process of dismantling the consoles in one of the obelisks, then it happened. The strange energy flows we measured for weeks now stopped all of a sudden. In the same second, the portals flickered briefly, stabilized, and then stayed open. I know it's a risk. This is probably our only chance, and I cannot say how long the portals will stay open. The fluctuations have begun again. We need to hurry. I'll leave a copy of my private data pad here in the safe. The commander's trying to reach us. Izani's jammed the comms. He'll go where I go, he said. I think I like him. Wish us luck. 16 and 16. Boom. Well, what does that mean then? We've got 16 and 16 pads. So, um... Check, marker, I don't, I don't really want... Story mission log, activate. Logs 10... Logs 16 and 16, back to log 1. Tales of Tash. Logs found. Entries become available as soon as a new data pad is found. Tales of Tash is a story of the Tash Aki Talen, a member of the Talent Academy of Sciences. Follow her trail and find all the data pads she left behind to learn what happened on these moons 1,370 years ago before you arrived in Andromeda. <laughs> so a thousand years ago. <laughs> so great. Well, that was fun. Yeah, you know, do you know what? I quite liked it. Um <clears throat> For me going around and finding the data pads like that in this kind of like directionless clue based sort of setup is very subnautica if you think about it. I like it like these four light starter moons are a bit like the shallows in some nautica. It's pretty safe, pretty chill. There's a few like dangerous creatures here and there, but nothing major. You can chill, set up a little base, and then you start finding clues, don't you? Little data pads dotted around. Very similar. Very, very similar. Okay, so I'm guessing 
that is it. The only other thing I can think to do is to go to the obelisk and see if the portal is now active, which I don't think it will be. But let's go and just do a little double check. Yeah, no, the portal's still not active. Okay, fine. Well, the important thing is, is that we have some titanium. My worry is that this is not going to be enough. Now, it's going to be about 500, maybe 600 titanium there, I think. How much do we need? We need about 500. It's going to be close, dudes. It's going to be close. So, um... One last thing then, before we head back and refine that and stick that in the factory and hopefully spawn in our SV, uh, a CV. Let's have a look at the abandoned drone base here. This is a fairly significant POI to find, to be honest. Uh, well, based on previous versions of it, see, I don't know, like, the abandoned uh, vessel yard, whether it's been nerfed in this version. It's much easier and simpler to go through and stuff, but let's, let's check it out. I also think this thing is made of hardened steel, which if we can salvage, will get us all the titanium we could ever possibly need. Okay, here we go then. I think we got some guns here. Yep. Little scorpions as well, look. We'll get rid of those. Don't like those. Got another gun on this side? Yep. Any more little baby scorpions that need to be nuked from orbit? I'm not seeing any, but I am hearing plenty of them. I don't think they've nerfed this one like the others. This, oh yeah, I'm hearing abominations and everything. Oh god. But look at the uh, look at the walls of this place. Um, that is combat steel, if I'm not mistaken. That is combat steel. Okay. Um, this is probably a really bad idea. I don't know. Yep, combat steel. <laughs> oh my god. It's got one. Another one! Another one! Oh god, they're everywhere! They're everywhere, they're tiny, and they they bite like a freaking truck. They are stupid, though. Oh, at least we have that on our side. Oh yeah, this place is gonna be hell. Alright, well, we got some loot straight away. Chuck that in there. Let's get the bits and bobs. Can you hear this? Can you hear what is uh, waiting for me? It's horrible. Go in! Ugh. Reload already, man. Come on. Dicking him out. All the footsteps. Abomination. Okay. We're still alright. <laughs> I don't know how. We haven't been bitten yet. God, the noises. There's another loot crate here. We'll grab that. That's one container full. Really the titanium that we're after in here, really. Oh, God, what are we doing? What are we doing? Has that got perish time on it? It does not. Good. That does, though. The lemon. There's a console. Another tablet. <laughs> Wait, but we've we've got sixteen and sixteen. What happens? Nothing happens. It just doesn't read it. But it's interesting that this is, was a um, a place you could get a tablet as well. That means that there's more than sixteen places you can get tablets. That's actually kind of good. It increases your odds of actually finding sixteen tablets. I quite like that. Combination. I think there was one behind me. He fell down. Ooh. He did. Took a bit of a hit there, I think. 
Right, another loot box. Sentry gun. C4 it. Did I get it? I got the barrier. <laughs> I just mistimed that click. Ever so slightly. I think it gets it anyway. Yes, sir, it does. Lovely. I don't have many um, 762 rounds left. Oh, God, more scorps. So little. They're so little, they're so stupid. It's like a menu keeps trying to open or something every time I'm interacting with those scorpion bodies. Right, let's go. Come on. Ugh. Weird floor butthole. Hear it everywhere. Gold? That would have been nice, wouldn't it? No way we're getting that in <laughs> in anything. <laughs> uh yeah, sure. Great. A multi boost, very nice. Uh we'll take EVA. Any day you want to give me an EVA boost. I will take it. <laughs> Eat the steak. Right. These that is a usable table. So if we do get endoparasites or dermal parasites and stuff, which is highly likely given the mobs in this place, then we can cure it here. I must try and remember that because I'm so like easy to use meds as you know. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard to hit. Unbelievable. Level 19 though. Win. Um I'll take the the 15 mil bullets. This is the thing. I kind of have to pick and choose what I loot here, I suppose. Because there's no way I'm going to get, like, artillery rounds into this. More titanium. Lovely. There's another box full. Something was coming up behind me then, but... I think it's fine. Actually, that's all fine. It's just the artillery rounds I can't really take. Alright, there's a sentry gun there. It may blow up the entire room. I suggest we leave. <laughs> yep. Oh god. Sentry gun. We can wait. Oh god, it's so tiny. Ah. Uh, I can't hit it. Uh. Oh god. I'm out of ammo! Stay still. Stay still, you little... Buddy, another one. Another one. Jesus. Go in. Alright, let's just... Let, I need to try and get the core down. Yeah. Do 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 do. Ow! I bet you too. How long does it take for this C4 to go off as well? You know, come on. Does that blow up that switch? It did. <laughs> Oops. Never mind. Meant to do that. Loot! Right, this place is being converted into a legacy hellhole. But we're nearly at the core. It's literally through here, I think. I believe it's over there. 
Nice, some meds. He's a fan of those. Damn it! Well, there's an epic loot container. Gold? Oh, yes! How did he? I've won. I have. I have won. Again. I have won. Again. That is ludicrous. So we got the gold, which means we can make an EVA boost. We got an EVA pulse rifle. <laughs> Elian, is this supposed to be on a star planet? <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Oh my god, that's awesome. Where did that health pods go? There they are. I want those there, please. And so let's put that meat in the fridge. Tails damaged. Ooh. Oh, I think it's constantly trying to talk to me with that data pad, but I've completed it, so we can't. So two shotgun shells in there. Any more? Anywhere else? Eight in there, yes. Keep going. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> yep. Just random bits of ammunition scattered around everywhere. And we have got a flamethrower, which uses flamethrower fuel. There is one flamethrower fuel in there as well, so try and remember that. Uh, we might need it downstairs, that's what I'm saying. Right, more bullets there as well, okay. There's another sentry gun over here. Yoink. Boom! Okay, so maybe the core isn't there then? The core is down here. Oh god, I remember this. This is ancient old, oh, this is. Bugs everywhere in here. This is quite a big, uh, big place down here as well. well. There's even another epic loot container here. Oh my god! Is this genuinely supposed to be here? Because this feels like probably a mistake. The core is where the frick is the core? Um, oh, is it down here? Nope. What? Oh, it's in here. Yeah, there it is. All right, but I mean, there's stuff in here that's spawned now is not all of the things that spawn. All right, let's go. Let's see, teach these bugs who's boss. Drop anything else from spawning. This frickin' bug is John Wick! <laughs> Bastard would die. Even with the shotgun, like, bang to right. Like, crosshairs right on him. All the little frickin' pellets would go around him. Alright, well, we've got the base. Case of clearing up the nonsense. Look at this. Absolute nonsense. Get all the meat. Right, what we got what you got for me? More gold. Or in minor cause. I'll take it. And then another container with more titanium, another T2 assault rifle. A taxid, a medical device, a T2 repair bay. There's no way those are going in here. <laughs> They're massive. It's like that friggin' um, it's like the in a Xeno steel all over again. I get my boxes. They're so full, man. It's a shame because T2 repair bay is very tasty, very tasty. But there's no way. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, what's the volume on it? Uh, the volume is 800 SUs. 800 SUs. I mean, I suppose I could come back here, whip back, and pick up the the other stuff when I've got the ship. That's the other the option, I suppose. Um, because that thing's got two 320k SU containers, so that could take pretty much anything. Anything we find, we, we could pick it up. Um, but there we go. So, that. And then a few spare scorpions. Is the abandoned drone base. 
Find our loot container, another flamethrower, more titanium. Bingo. Alright, so we can't pick up Xeno Steel, a medical device, and a T2 repair pad. I'm not overly heartbroken by that, to be honest. Fine. Whoops. Let's get out of here. Um, let's get that titanium back to base. And let's see if we can get the damn ship in. I'm stuck. No, oh, come on. Stop falling off the knob. Yeah? That, see? What you did there was you fell off the freaking knob. Stop. Nah, come on. Stop being a knob and get on. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? Just get on the freaking pipe! Okay, good. Stay. Stay. Jetpack. Oh god, I'm free. Yes! Finally! Oh god. Oh, get me out of here. Okay, welcome back to base. Uh, right, so I've got this constructor working on a bunch of cobalt. It's going to work on the titanium as well. Now that we've got gold, we're going to need EVA boosting the top of a few bits of ammunition as well. One final thing, based on all the, the pentaxid that we've got as well, I'm going to get it to produce 100 uh, pentaxid fuel for the warp drive. So we should have ammo, air, fuel, because we picked up a bunch of fusion cells um plus all the fuel that we've picked up here and there as well and um the pentaxid for the warp drive so we should be good that's going to take a little while to produce but we're going to skip time by sleeping and that should now all be done <laughs> so good right <laughs> uh i also planted a few bits and bobs as well just like well the blue peppers aren't growing very well are they <laughs> But that should mean, hopefully, we've got the titanium. There it is, 700. We only needed 500. Titanium for the ship. Start production. And here she is, the Volos Exos, uh, XS. Sorry. There is a vanilla version of this. Uh, link down below in the video description. But she is a very, very compact, lightweight, and as you can see, pretty damn cheap uh, capital vessel. Armed with three GAT cannons, floating in midair there majestically. She will come down to the ground. There we go. Uh, when she lands, as you can see, the GAT cannons co go away and the sentry guns come out. So a nice bit of signal logic in there. Not a very big ship. Not a big ship at all. This is why I chose it. It is a very compact design. Uh, right, so that's the exterior other than the roof area, which you know has a small area for a, a little SV. And that's about it. And the bridge on top. The uh, two gats on the side is all of its armaments on the top side, although I suppose uh, you could probably put one here. It will obscure um, the bridge, though. There's a lot of half block use in order to get the dimensions of the ship where it is. There's a lot of half block use. Like, this is actually only too high um, because that ceiling is, is a half block on, on this side. So, although it looks two and a half high, three high maybe, it's technically only two. Um, it's a very small hangar bay again, enough to spit a nightshade and maybe a little hover miner in here or something. Um, ammo boxes are included. We've got two 320 KSU containers there, a large constructor, gravity generator over there, uh, the core and the single CPU extender there. If we go all the way to the top and turn around, we can come out here. Um, just get rid of this hunger a second. And uh, we've come out to the top deck there. If we go forwards into the bridge section here, we've got uh, bathroom facilities, including a shower that can get rid of my radiation uh, sickness right now. And we've got medical sensors, oxygen stations, fridge, and an armor locker, as well as the bridge view there, as we can see. Uh, I think those, do they need to be rotated. No, they're good. Okay, good. Uh, and if we actually go down one, we've got this tunnel here, which is kind of like a maintenance tunnel. Which brings us out to the front section of the ship. Now this is currently empty. Um, but this is where you can fit a shield generator in here. Once we get one and we can afford one. We can put shield gen here. And uh, we've got this sort of front glass section there. Which is actually very more hit points I think on this glass. 1500 compared to the 300 steel blocks. So it's like why would you put glass in front of the shield generator? That's why. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Um, and there we go, we've got a couple of oxygen tanks and then there's behind this wall here, right under our feet right now, which is why we're getting so many rads 
that's the warp drive we're stood on right there. <laughs> stood casually on a warp drive. So don't loiter around the maintenance uh, access there and you'll be fine. That's it. That's the entire ship. Um, yeah, like I said, two, 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 320 KSU containers, two ammo boxes and a fridge. That's it. But um, it's enough to get us out and about and very, very mobile. Uh, plus, once we get a shield on this, then we will we'll be very happy. CPU-wise, um, it should be just under CPU now. Yeah, got about 100,000 spare, which should be more than enough to get a shield generator in there. Um, and that's probably because we've got quite a few um, small thrusters now. So the reforged version, I had to take a lot of the medium thrusters off. As you can see, the, they're not grouped anymore because of the, the work I've done. So if I... What the hell was that? Anyway, uh, a lot of the sort of maneuvering thrusters, the left, right, and the down specifically, and the backwards, I think, are small, but we've still got mediums uh, for lift and forward, uh, so we're still good there. And there we go. The Volos. We'll fuel her up, we'll load her up, armor, uh, and get her ready, and then next episode, we're heading to Omicron, and we're taking our entire life with us. Uh, I don't plan on coming back here to Skillen. I don't plan on coming back to any of the starter moons. We're going to move on from here and we're going to take everything here with us. Um, we don't have a farm on Volos, is the only other thing, but we should have enough food in reserve to keep us going. Plus where I think we're going, there's going to be plenty of food available for us anyway. So there we have it. Ladies and gents, that is going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye.